What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to control your favorite music player with the flick of a wrist. The app behind this one is appropriately called Flick, and is currently in its beta phase. As such, you'll need to join the app's Google Plus community in order to install it. I've got a link to this over at the full tutorial, so just head to the link in the description below this video to get started. But once you've arrived at the Google Plus community page, the first thing you'll need to do is hit this Join Community button. Once you've done that, just hit Get the App right at the bottom of this post. This will take you to a Google Play page where you can opt into the beta program. Just hit Become a Tester on this screen, then you'll see a link to download the app from Google Play. It may take a few minutes before you're registered as a beta tester on the Google Play servers, so you might have to refresh this page a couple of times or even perform a reboot before it shows up. But once that's happened, just install the app like you would any other. When you first launch Flick, you'll be asked to select your favorite music player. This is actually a pretty cool requirement because it means that the service won't be running unless you're using this particular app, so that saves you some battery. Anyway, you can enable the service using the button at the bottom of the screen, so go ahead and do that. And if you want, there are a few more customization options available through the two buttons up top. The first one with the four arrows lets you customize what actions you want to perform with each gesture. By default, left is next, right is previous, and up is play pause. These are all pretty simple gestures. You just flick your phone left or right, up or down. Up means towards you, and down means away from you. And then if you back out to the main screen again, you can configure a few more options with the second button up top. These let you do things like adjust the sensitivity of the gestures and the pre-programmed delay that occurs after you've made a gesture so that it doesn't accidentally get detected twice. But with setup out of the way, the only thing left to do is to try out your new gestures. It would be too much of a pain to show you all of them while I'm confined to this small area, but I'll show you the play pause gesture, which is up. So with the music player open, I'll just make a quick upward gesture and the music starts playing right away. Do it again and the music stops playing. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.